so hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel so if you are a dbt bejar of aspirant then definitely you should know how many questions you need to attempt in order to clear this examination say if you belong to so you should know the uh, it consists of two parts friends so part a part b so let me share with you this particular thing i'm not going to detail i'm just showing you what is given so section a and section b section a is consist of aptitude and general science okay it do consist of uh, analytical and qualitative but major question from this section say if you take 50 questions means till now i didn't report any chemistry from questions from this particular thing maybe so uh, problems related solution preparation everything it will be asked okay but majority of questions say 40 question out of 50 will be from general by general science only if you are well aware about biochemistry molecular biology cell biology cell communication immunology with respect to csr examination definitely you can attempt many questions in section d and section a 50 question will be asked and you need to attempt all the 50 questions so there is no choice in section a and each question carries 3 marks so totally 150 marks and with respect to section b where specific area of biotechnology will be asked okay and with respect to section b they are asking 150 questions and from that 150 questions you are you need to attempt only 50 questions and you can leave 100 questions in choice okay again each questions will carry 3 marks so totally 150 marks so this is what the exam pattern you should know so coming to this particular thing if you belong to general category with respect to section a out of 50 marks you need to out of 50 questions you need to attempt at least 45 question but at the same time you should think of negative marking also okay so i have previously made a video regarding minimum mark you need to qualify you need to get not to qualify you need to have this minimum mark in your mind if you didn't watch the video please watch the video okay so you should know about the minimum mark only then it will be helpful at the time of examination hall the examination hall you should also think about negative marking also okay so 45 into 3 totally 130 marks you will be getting okay sorry 135 marks you will be getting and with respect to part b out of 50 questions okay at least you should target 40 questions so totally in the part b 150 questions will be asked from that 150 questions you need to write 50 questions but not all the student can able to write can able to attempt 50 questions at least you should try to attempt 40 questions out of 50 questions that you need to write and if you are ews category then obc category then with respect to section a 50 questions you should try to attempt 40 questions okay and next with respect to part b out of 50 questions you need to attempt 30 question so 40 into 3 120 marks and 30 into 3 90 marks so totally you will be getting 210 marks as so say first category with respect to general category you will be getting to uh, 30 marks something okay just made a calculation next sc and st candidate out of 50 questions if you attempt 25 questions both in section a and section b that's well and good you can clear your examination okay so this is what the minimum mark or uh, minimum question you need to attempt in order to clear this dbt bjrf examination so out of 50 general candidate you should uh, you should attempt 80 sorry out of 50 you should attempt 45 question and with respect to part b you should attempt 40 and ews candidate and obc candidate with respect to section a you should write 40 question out of 50 and with respect to section b you should attempt 30 question out of 50 okay so please make and make this particular thing note down in your preparation notebook so that you can keep yourself motivated and it will be definitely i open the examination hall and it also provide you an idea okay so thank you friends thanks for watching this video if you didn't still subscribe to my youtube channel please click the subscription button it will be very much helpful for me to keep myself motivated and to provide some useful content with respect to many exam for clearing your phd examination thank you